So now we get to talk about the actual colonists who moved to America rather than the groups of people that were affected by colonization. We're not going to talk about who literally did that. See, there were loads of groups of people that kind of got pushed out of Britain for a number of reasons. I've already mentioned to you in a previous lesson about Quakers, uh, Quakers, Catholics and Puritans. These are, should we say, different versions of Christianity that existed within Britain and they were being persecuted. They were being treated badly in Britain. And the reason for this is because Britain was a Protestant country and it wanted everyone to be Protestant inside of it. I believe it was a, a punishable by prison offence to not attend Protestant church in Britain at this time. So these people were like, I can't, I have to go to the wrong religions church. That's not right, isn't it? And they saw America as an opportunity to move away. But alongside these groups of people in the 1600s or so, England had a civil war. Um, you might have studied this previously at Cedar Mount Academy, but in particular, basically, Britain became a battleground. Britain went to war with itself and it was a uh, town v town. There was raids and attacks and theft constantly across Britain for a period of about four years or so while they sorted out their parliament king situation, civil war luck. Not good. You wouldn't really want to live in Britain at that time. So people were being pushed out of Britain because of religious factors, but also being pushed out of Britain because of war factors to go and colonize this USA. And the thing is, the USA looked great. They're pretty much everything in the USA earned you money, selling cotton, sugar, tobacco, even fishing and farming, other things, earn you loads of money because they were so rare in Europe. So people were pushed away from Britain by religious and, and war factors, but attracted, pulled by economic factors. Now, a really good example of that is Jamestown. See, Jamestown was a town, the first settlement of the first colony in Virginia. Uh, Virginia, named after Elizabeth I, you can tell what kind of time period this is via that, the 1500s, was a settlement established by Sir Walter Raleigh, um, basically uh, one of those explorers we saw with John Cabot earlier. See, when they got there, the whole point of Jamestown was to find gold. Everyone who moved to Jamestown was there purely to find gold. I'm here to find gold and earn money for myself. And they all got there and they all realised no one had the skills to survive. Being a colonist sucks. I've said it before. If you can see the picture above me, you're willing to live like that for years, months, probably most of the rest of your life. You're going to be living in a tent. That's not the greatest way to live. And the thing is, Jamestown began to fail. They couldn't find any gold and also they couldn't live. They couldn't grow their own food. They couldn't find animals to hunt. They didn't know where shelter was or water was. They started to die out. So they had to engage with the indigenous population of the USA. If you see here, there's a picture of them talking to the indigenous population. They had to talk to this group of, should we say, indigenous Americans, and they had to get help by them. They had to get helped with how to farm, how to find food. And luckily, Jamestown kind of shifted their perception of what they were here for and managed to start growing tobacco as well. They started to grow tobacco in America and they became a settlement. They, they stopped being gold focused. But in general, it was a bit of a failure, wasn't it? They went there to find gold and they didn't find any. They only managed to sell some tobacco, basically. But that's a very common story, which we say colonists going to the USA. A lot of people went there and failed to settle. A lot of people went there and completely, well, sucked their whole ambitions out of their lives and just ended up having a tent for the rest of their lives. Um, I read a good book when I was 18 uh, called Virgin Earth. It's about a guy who goes to be a colonist in the USA during the Civil War and he has such a bad time of it he ends up trying to live with the indigenous americans because they have it better than him if if you know anything about indigenous americans they uh are a, should we say a nomadic society they move from place to place they never live in one place like a house they will uh, live in a tent for a few days get up and move again to protect the earth and protect its spirit all of this is very interesting and obvious but what you need to absolutely cement yourself on is these things why do people want to leave Britain for the American colonies? What was attractive about the American colonies for the British? Where and what was Jamestown? And why did Jamestown fail as a settlement? All the information is on your textbook pages. You should be able to find it in this video even. Um, please use the information for you. It's on your team's pages, files, the main ones, year 10 and year 11. All right, good luck. See you later.